What is it that you seek after? How would you even know what that might be? Well, I think one of the things that we can look at is our, what do we watch on television? What do we read? What does our Amazon bill look like? What does our checkbook look like? That might tell us a little bit about what we're seeking, what we're going after, what is important to us. In our American culture, in our Western culture, it says that many are pursuing life, liberty, and happiness. Is that what you pursue? Is that what you seek after? I wonder about that. I wonder about that from the standpoint of a follower of Christ as to whether or not those are the things that we are to be seeking after. Or is it things of God? Paul says something in Romans that I want to share with you. He says, all the depths and the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. That's from Romans chapter 11. And it brings to mind what we ought to be seeking after and searching after. God himself, his wisdom, his understanding. Where do we get that from? Well, I believe that we start with the scriptures itself. Reading that, from, from that comes all other doctrine and understanding. But why don't we? It's laborsome. It's hard. And I think our enemy, the one who searches true and fro across the world and across the land to seek who he can devour, tries to keep that from us. I hope and I pray that as you're starting to look over this new year coming, that you set out as a sense of rediscovering who God is, rediscovering his wisdom and knowledge in the depth of his being. You might be surprised as to what you're going to learn. Would you think about that today? Hey, until next time, God bless.